Hey guys, it's Pokemon Bry happening here again. Before we get into today's video, I would like to announce I have yet again another giveaway going for this video. For the Pokemon 151 poster, the three promo cards, as well as a random pack from Sword and Shield. I'll be giving that away to one lucky subscriber who likes and leaves a comment on this video. Let me know what your favorite poll is. For today's video, I came across a new display uh, um, case, box, whatever it is, with a... Uh, uh, about 10 of the Pokeball tins in it. Um, so I grabbed a couple of these new tins. Um, we're going to jump into these. They uh, they both have C23 on them. So I'm not sure what that means. If these are actually the same ones that are in those Costco boxes that I absolutely love. But before we dive into those, we are going to check out just some... Um, open up a few packs of Fusion Strike just to get going. I haven't been opening up packs like this for, um, for a bit. You know, from Sword and Shield. So it'll be nice to... Get back going with these. Um, obviously, Fusion Strike is. We have a pull already in this one. Whew. All right. Starting off hot. Let's hope so. Maybe we can get that Gengar. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, this is uh, those tins that I came across. I, was, I, I haven't seen that box yet. And it was in with the new 151 products. I don't even know if there's 151 in there. Uh, Trubbish. Yavittle. Oh, Grabominal V, starting off. Lovely, lovely full art card. A little darker than the other ones, but definitely still an awesome card. So we start out with one. It's nice fusion strike. I I know I bring it up uh, when I open up Evolving Skies. I think we have a pull in this one, too. Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no, we do. Oh, we got a fire energy. All right. So... Uh, back to back pulls on evolving, or I'm sorry, on fusion strike. Wild start. Absolutely wild start. But, uh, when I was doing some, I was doing some research on that story I always bring up when I'm opening up evolving skies with the pull raid and the, uh, photos that came out with the guy who showed up to, uh, it was a card shop or a card show with just a stack of like the, the alternate art Gengar. The um, the Moonbrion, some uh, Evolution full arts, and man, this one's backwards. And I found out that, um, or what I what I read, I didn't necessarily find out. It wasn't a credible source, but a lot of people were mentioning that three out of every four cards, so seventy five percent of the the pulls that were going to go into Evolving Skies that were you know the top tier cards, seventy five percent of them were stolen and that's why the the pull rate is just so bad on these cards on these on these packs so whether that's true or not that's a little bit more information i don't, I don't know if that's you know actual actual fact on it though i i couldn't find that out but um that's uh more than i knew before so if the pull the pull rate on Moonbrion, I think it's like one in a thousand or something. I don't know. It's, it's something ridiculous. So if if that's what it is, I mean, and that's only twenty five percent of them that made it in. It kind of seems like if they were actually there, that would be a a huge difference in what the Evolving Skies and the Fusion Strike Pack pull rates are. So I. I'm not sure if they're actually supposed to be that way or not. I'd, I'd love to find out, you know, the actual, you know, reasoning for it. If if there's any value to the to the rumors or even to the photo. Like, Pokemon's very hush-hush on that whole thing. But anyway, uh, last pack of Fusion Strike. I just really found that interesting because that was a new tidbit that I found. And the, uh, the Tree Quaz was another one. They called it the... Uh, the Pokemon um, retirement plan for employees who stole the stuff because if they took 75% of the product that was there, um, that, I mean, that's, that's a chunk of change. Onyx, Toodle, Shroomish, Snorlax, and we got a Bolton V. So three pulls out of six packs. Definitely that uh, Goldfire energy threw me off. Um, but now we're on to these guys. Um... Again, C23, these were just uh, put in there. So, um, 
2023, so these are definitely new. Uh, Pokemon contains 10 cards and either a basic energy or a B-star marker. Um, I just don't think I've ever seen him say that. So that's pretty interesting. But anyway, uh, C23, we're going to dive in, into this one first. Again, we got two of these that we're going to be going in. Um, I don't want to bore you guys with a with a ton of them. Plus, I don't I don't want to make a video that long. Um, if it is your first time here, you know you have seen my videos, and you're like, why is he, you know, just open up that much? I don't like um, watching long videos myself. Oh, so oh, that's cool. So oh, actually, this is a new spread. What else is in here? All right, so there's nothing else in here. Um, so it, uh, a Fusion Strike, Lost Origins, Silver Tempest. That is a powerhouse. Then it comes with um, two stickers. It's pretty cool. I was a little surprised to see those in there. I don't remember uh, stickers of this size being in uh, actually any Pokemon product before. But solid lineup here. But anyway, uh, I, I don't make long videos because I don't like watching long videos. And... The only time I, I usually try to shoot for maybe around 10 minutes. The only time it will be longer is when I'm ripping a booster box. But um, yeah, I just think we all have just a, uh, a a short amount of time and just sitting here watch. Oh, Toka Tomorrow, just watching endlessly. Just one person just rip through everything. Um, not something I personally like. Uh, so Mantine and an Electrode. So I don't know if these are. These are probably from the reprint. Um, I've mentioned before, but there was a reprint of Lost Origin and Silver Tempest. And the uh, the packs were, um, or the booster boxes, they're like, maybe like uh, 110 bucks now, which is which is actually really good for both of these. So, solid sets. Obviously, this one is a, it's definitely a, a favorite of this channel. Um pulled multiple alternate art Lugias out of it and we got a pull back there <laughs> Toxicroc, Jinx, Clinks, Dratini, Feebas, Litten, oh we got a Radiant Alakazam and a Skunk Tank, V. So two pulls out of that one, I don't know if these are part of the uh, there was that that broken run where every every pack of Silver Tempest had a a pull in the um, in the uh, the collector's tin, the lunchbox ones. So that'd be uh, crazy if these were like that. I've been, I've been having a lot of luck. Obviously, I've I've opened that Costco box many times. Comes with the Scarlet Violet base, ETB, and two tins. But those tins, even though those are also C23s and D23s, um, they don't have the stickers in. And they also don't have Fusion Strike. So, very uh, very different to see a Fusion Strike in there. Oh, and we do. We got a Trainer Gallery for Snorlax. I don't know. So far, these tins are W for me. Three packs on the tins, three pulls. So, uh, I guess I should have just read this. <laughs> uh, three packs and two sticker sheets. I, I was pretty sure there's... Kind of sounded like a um, one of the coins that were in here. So, anyway, just uh, just another product came across, guys. I, I like looking at um, new stuff that's out there, and we have the same exact lineup as well as the same exact stickers. So, pretty cool. We'll have uh, more of these tins to open up uh, in another video. Uh, but let's just roll through these the uh, same exact order then. Again, I really appreciate the channel support, guys. It's been great. I love going through the comments. Um, I I don't have a chance to respond to all of them, but I, I do respond to you know a, a good handful of them. I definitely check every single one of them out. So um, thanks for the support. It's It's, it's been awesome. Rotom, Carvana, Morpico, Toxel, and we got a Gradient VMAX. So these tins are just absolutely fire. 
absolutely fire. I can't believe the pulls on these. Um, Silver Tempest. Tempest. Um, we got a black coat card. That is weird it was in that way. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really going to have to dive into these, uh, these tins. If these are the broken packs, um, for the price, the, the tins were like 15 bucks. So like five bucks back. Um, but for a guarantee pull, like the chance to get the, the Lugia alt art, that is definitely, definitely worth it. Veneri, Drowsy, Spinark, Ralts. We got a Radiant as well as a Mawal V with a horrendous print line going right down the middle of it. Whew. I don't know, guys. I don't know. These uh, Pokeball tins, again, they were, they were, I, I haven't seen them out. They were in with the 151. And it is going really good right now do we check it do we not check it oh all right last pack here guys hopefully we uh stop here in a banger but anyway be sure to uh make sure you subscribe drop a like leave a comment let me know what your favorite poll was they've been hot in this video and you'll be entered for the uh 151 poster the three promo cards and a uh, random pack from sword and shield i got um just a bunch to pick from so uh I'll be sending those out. I'll announce on Saturday's video the winners. So it's uh, 19, 20, 21st, October 21st. Um, and I'll uh, I'll tag everyone in the video that's a winner also. But uh, good luck, guys. Um, and uh, we're ending here. Haunter, Potlawirl, Snover, Machop, Pikachu, Jinx, Stojourner, and not quite the big Garatina that we were hoping for. But still, nonetheless, we had... Two, four, six, eight. We got ten pulls in today's video with eight of them coming from two of those uh, new tins that are out. So check them out. If you guys find them, let me know what your pulls are with them, and I'll see you next time.